Hi everyone, it's Sarah here again from Inky Doodles. Um, a really, really quick demo this time. It's one of the ones that I had planned to do on Create and Craft, but with Dean chatting so much, unfortunately we just didn't get enough time to do it. Um, it uses the, um, the, the narrow knitted backgrounds from the Woolly Words set. And it also uses um, some of the little elements from the Groovy Baby. Um, particularly the little flowers. You, I mean, you could use any flower you like for this or even, you know, something other than a flower. Um, and it's just a very, very simple masking technique that I want to show you. As you can see here, I've, um, I've stamped the little flowers onto a post-it note and I've just cut around them. Most of you will have seen masking before, I'm sure. Um, you can see here that my masks are fairly well used. But we're going to go ahead, I've just got um, a square piece of card and I'm just going to stick the little flowers randomly about on the card. And for this, um, this design I'm going to use some really, really bright colours. Um, I've got a, a good mixture of um, mementos here. I love memento because it just gives you... Um, they're, they're really vibrant and they're, they're quite well saturated, the colours. Uh, the first one I'm going to go for is um, Bahama Blue. So we're just going to, we're going to ink up, um, I'll put those back again so we've got a little bit more room. Ink up the, um, the knitted background. And in this case it's really good that it's a narrow strip because I want to create stripes from it. So we're going to go straight ahead and um, stamp directly over our masks. Now you have to forgive me if I don't get this straight because I'm trying so hard to keep my head out of the camera shot. There we go, that's the first one. You can see I should have added just a little bit more pressure here. That's one thing when you're using a mask. Obviously it does, there is a thickness to that mask and if you use um, post-it notes they are quite thin but there is still something there that you've got to get through. So we'll take um, we'll take that one off. You can cut as many of these as you like and then you can um, sort of move them move them, um, sorry not move them, you know you can cover your whole thing so that you don't have to move them. We're going in now with um, Pear Tart, that one. Uh, it's, a, it's another beautiful colour. Now, lining up at arm's length, never good, but I tell you what, we'll leave a little gap. Given that we want it to look like stripes, we will leave a little white gap in between. That's my excuse anyway. So extra pressure around your masks and hopefully we won't get that white gap this time. I think this one must be a bit thicker or have something stuck to it because it doesn't seem to like that one at all. No, I can't get it off. <laughs> there we go. Well, we'll just do one more because I have got one that, that I've already done. I'll just give you one more. Try and keep these fairly random. It's probably easier if you have got more and you cover the whole lot. And then you can just get a, a much more random thing going on. So now we've got um, a Memento Tangelo. And we'll just uh, pop that one in. There we go. Just pop some lids back on my ink pads. Excuse me a moment while I do that. Actually, no, I won't because I'm going to need them again. So right now, if we take those, um, take all of those masks off, we're obviously left with a lot of rather strange, blobby-looking white bits. A bit like me when I've been sunbathing. But what I'm going to do is I'm taking the flower and I'm going to ink each area up. I'm going for, it doesn't matter as long as it's a, um, a contrasting colour to the one that you've got in the background. So we're going to go for pink in this area here. I'm 
we'll put a pink one up here as well I am making this look so hard because I can't lean over it okay and um, we'll pop a yellow sorry a blue one in here you can see what I'm doing anyway I'm just gradually building that up and I have got one in true blue Peter style that I did earlier so we'll just pop the lids on these ink pads so I don't get them all mixed up and we'll put that to one side so there we go you can see much better there what I've done and the centers of the flowers I've just taken um, a pro marker in approximately the same color as I've stamped in and uh, I've just colored in the centers right now if I was sensible I'd have had my glue runner to hand and I could actually stick this all together properly but we're gonna have to uh, just imagine so I've stamped um, the knitting as a little border there and the happy birthday comes from the the groovy baby set again what I've done with mine uh, it actually comes as a long happy birthday I've cut mine in half because uh, I, I just found that uh, frequently I wanted to use them separately and rather than sort of selectively inking every time I just cut it in half and that's no problem if you want to do that and the lava lamp as well is from the groovy baby set so there we go we'll just pop um, pop a bow on there so I hold it together and there uh, Sort of lift it up a little bit hopefully you can see that as I say it was one one of the demos that I had planned on um, doing on creating craft with Dean but it just never happened anyway thanks for watching bye